The Prophet said that women will be naked even though they are dressed. Isn't this a type of paradox? Today, Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, do not forget to subscribe. Um, hope you guys are doing all right, and I would like to give a big shout out to everyone that's sub subscribed so far, those ones that are going to subscribe after this. And thank you to everyone that's been watching our videos, giving us things to react to. We thank you very much, and I hope you guys are okay. May you stay, may you stay blessed and just be in good health. So, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to future shocking future predictions made by Prophet Muhammad. But before we get into that, we also do other things other than just reactions other than just reactions you can find us you can we've got a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 you can check it out and just enjoy the content there we posted over the weekend and yeah just feel free in case you maybe you want us to do a q and a let us know in case you want to see what we do in a day let us know in case whatever it is just let us know so and you can find everything else that we do in the description box below just click the link and don't forget we also have a patreon account be be a member let us know what you want to see on our patreon account since things on youtube certain things on youtube cannot be posted so yeah without wasting time let's get into the video the prophet muhammad peace be upon him was always asked about the day of judgment after all you can hardly find a page in the Qur'an that doesn't mention the last day. In response to these questions, the Prophet gave signs that the last day is approaching. Since Arabia was simply a desert at the time, a lot of these signs confuse the people, but when we look at them today, they make a lot of sense. The Prophet said that of the signs of the last day is that you would see the poor people of the deserts compete with each other in building taller buildings. Today, Two of the three tallest buildings in the world are in the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Just 70 years ago, these places were nothing but a desert and now they are decorated with tall buildings. The Prophet also said that large distances will be travelled in short periods of time. Considering that he travelled by camel or by foot, just think about the forms of transport we have today and compare it with this narration. The Prophet said that the worst of the people will become leaders, and in another narration, power and authority will be given to the wrong people. Also, the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said that trustworthiness will disappear. Nowadays, how few are the people that we can trust? Promises have become empty, world politics is infested with lies, and the media is deceptive. Because of the media, many people are truly convinced that Islam preaches terrorism. We can't deport Americans um, who are criminals. Again, we have our own criminals we have to take care of. Why would we bring criminals in? So when I say, why do we need them? I'm saying, why does our country need them? The Prophet said that there will be an increase in killing to the point where the one who is killing doesn't know why he is killing, and the one who is being killed doesn't know why he is being killed. Whether through stabbings, bombings, or shootings, many innocent people are being slaughtered around the world every day. The Prophet said that there would be an increase in the use of interest to the extent that no one can escape the dust of it. Doesn't this describe the economic state of the world today? The whole world is controlled by banks and interest. Think of the credit cards, the mortgages, loans, and finance. The Prophet said that sexual promiscuity will become widespread. 1400 years ago, this confused the people, but nowadays, society is becoming more and more sexualized every year. So much so, that relationships, one night stands, or having friends purely for sexual reasons is the norm. Even to the point where the idea of marriage has become strange and shocking without pursuing a relationship beforehand. To 
to add to this narration, the Prophet also said that never has sexual promiscuity increased except that new diseases arise that people have never heard of before. Isn't this the case with HIV and AIDS? The Prophet also said that there will be an increase in children born outside of marriage, which is linked to the previous sign. This graph shows the percentage of these births around the world over 50 years. Look at the increase over just 50 years in all countries around the world. In the UK today, about 50% of children are born out of marriage compared to 5% 50 years ago. The Prophet said that women will be naked even though they are dressed. Isn't this a type of paradox? Today, clothes have become so tight that they reveal the shapes of their bodies underneath despite the clothes covering them. This is one of the most incredible predictions. Just a hundred years ago, especially in western countries, women wore long dresses and loose clothing. The Prophet said that the consumption of intoxicants will be widespread. Again, in our lifetimes, binge drinking has become a big issue, especially amongst the youth. Weed is becoming legal in more and more countries, and in less than 100 years, many drugs like ecstasy and LSD were created and have quickly been integrated into party culture. Sadly, many people now depend on them for a good time. The Prophet said that there will be an increase in literacy, but knowledge would actually decrease. Again, another paradox. At the time of the Prophet, only a handful of people could read and write in the whole of Arabia. Now, as he predicted, the majority can read and write. Yet what do we end up reading? It is important to note that Allah preserved these predictions for many wisdoms. Of these, is for us to increase our faith and to further affirm our religion as the truth. But more importantly, it is for us to be 100% sure that indeed the last day is approaching and is in fact going to happen. The Prophet was once asked, when is the last hour? To which he responded, what have you prepared for it? So, let's make an effort and begin to prepare for a day that neither me nor you can escape from. For all non-Muslims watching this video, if you are shocked and intrigued, I urge you to learn more about Islam. It will be better for you. I will leave some links in the description to help you out. such a lovely and straight um, forward video I enjoyed listening to this it was just it just draws you in from the beginning to the end I mean we have all these things we humans are fond of asking things even though we have answers to it we've got books that we read from we've got maybe say transcripts of the hadith or the Bible the Quran you name whatever it, religion you belong to we have all those things and some of these books actually um or works actually have prevented you presented you with um things of how you know the end the world is going to be and how it's going to end at the end of the day hope that makes sense how it's going to end at the end of the day from a desert to having huge buildings poor people are competing with rich people it just it it just amazes me someone came into this world and said an example someone came into this world and said um i feel like africa is not colon um is not where it should be or africa is not democratic they came in through all those things and divided us and now we find our souls where were competing with them by maybe having all these tall buildings, by dressing like them, by doing all sorts of things, which doesn't make sense. You can't compete with someone who's still really new. We're fond of saying we're independent, or our countries are independent. Are we really independent if we're still living by the by the rules and laws of our colonizers? It just doesn't make sense. 
all the signs are there and this video actually had the best examples so instead of doubting maybe look into read 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 i would advise people to read that's why you find the information just read and one day if not sooner you will get the answers that you're looking for the answers won't come to you you have to go out there and find out the answers otherwise this was amazing what do you guys think is there anything that in particular that you want me to touch on this you can comment in the you can comment below and i'll respond back or will respond back so yeah let me know amazing video a big shout out to the person that suggested this i'm not sure if it was suggested but a big shout out to the person that suggested this thank you for being with us thank you for watching thank you for subscribing stay blessed make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video